Hi, I'm Keith Carter and welcome to the HSP Academy tutorial session. In today's session we're going to learn about connection details. And this is our means of how we define what happens on a corner detail of our framed wall or where two walls might meet on a T-junction. And you would define exactly how these details would be to your specific details. So let's take a look and see how we do this. So here on my screen you can see that I have two wall types and these are currently a wall that's 140 mil wide on the outside as you can see here when I select it you can see it's a 140 wall type and I have this internal wall which I've created as an 89 wall type. Now let's just remind ourselves of a small fact that we had earlier on. If I go to the match framing styles you will recall that when we were creating the match framing style I spoke about this arrow up here on the outside of the wall in this case and we knew that we could also flip the arrow from the interior to the exterior. This is where the arrow is going to play quite an important role now in this basis. So for this example we have the arrow currently on the outside of the architectural wall in this case. So, with that in mind, it will basically be that if we're defining this particular corner and we want to find the detail, our arrows in this case will be here. And when we define a T-junction, our arrows are going to be something similar to this or even this. So, let's bear those in mind, those arrows, and let's take ourselves up now to the Framing Styles Editor. So once again, so we're back in the framing style editor. You can see that I have slightly extended the framing styles now to originally, which we had were 140 and 89 external. I've also created a further group called 89 internal. Now let's head into the connection detail. First thing we're going to do is add connection. When we added connection, there are various types of connection. And this is where we're talking about the arrow now. Wherever the arrow is on your given wall, you would put this particular connection type. So the first four that you see here are for corner connection and as I scroll down you will see that I have two T connection. Let's start with the corner wall on the external and that's where our two arrows were on the outside. So I'm going to define this type of connection known as an outside outside connector. Now the first thing we need to do is all our walls are in groups, okay? So we would take this external group here and we would place it in the primary group here. And we would take this external and we place it in the secondary group. Next, I don't want to use the default detail. I want to create my own detail. So I'm going to add a detail here now. And I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to give it something like outside to outside. And again, we have all the similar features that we would have had from our edge details session that we covered previously. And if you don't understand some of these, if I would advise that you would follow that particular session, which I've already uh, covered in a previous tutorial. Back here in this area here, we have both our primary and secondary walls shown. And I'm going to make a slight difference to our wall. So on this wall here, I'm going to add a beam. And again, I'm going to adjust this particular beam. So I'm going to unanchor the movement of that beam and move it up. And I'm going to anchor it once more here. I'm going to select this beam here and I'm going to rotate it about and put it into position here. And I'm going to lock it into that position as we see fit. So I'm happy that this will be now my corner arrangement for this particular wall in question. So I'm going to say OK that to this. OK, so what I want to do now is I want to create one more type of detail again. And this time I'm going to add this. And just for the sake of this, I'm just going to call this particular guy version 2. And we're going to add some slight changes to this. We're going to add in a beam here. And we're also going to add a further beam in this section here. And maybe just for 
that it's a different. We're going to move this up to here and lock it in in that particular instance here. And we're going to say OK now to this. And we now have two types of outside to outside connection. OK, what about our T connection? So we're going to add another connection. And this time I'm going to add the T connection. And again, note again where the arrows are per the description I showed you earlier on the drawing. So we're going to use this type of connection. And once more, what we now want to do is we want to add, and we've got to be careful here now because one wall is secondary and one is primary. So the incoming internal wall is going to be our primary group in this case, and our external group is going to be our secondary. So take note that the secondary and primary are quite important in this case. Okay, I'm going to add now a new detail. And you now see that we've got this detail in place. This particular guy here is currently using a default beam. I don't want to use that. I want to use the beam that's in zone 0. And that will adjust automatically to the inventory alias that you set earlier on. Again, if you don't understand the inventory aliases, I'd advise you to follow the framing style session that I covered earlier. In this case here, what I'm now going to do is move this guy and move him to the right here. And I'm going to lock it into the anchor of that. And I'm going to add a further beam here. And I'm going to unlock that beam and move it to here. And you can begin to see that you can become very, very flexible as to how you want this particular detail to be. But I'm keeping the detail very, very simple. But you can set up any type of detail you wish in, in your case for your detail. So I'm going to say OK now to this. And what we now have done is we've created both the outside, outside edge with two different versions. You'll see in my next session why I did this. It'll be very important to follow that session. And also I have now created my outside T connection which is showing me the internal and external. I'm Keith Cotter. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next session.